Hey there, this is Michael Ludden, and here is my review of the Samsung Gear Fit 2. As I said, um, this came with a pre-order of the Galaxy Note 7 smartphone, which I still haven't got. Comes out in two days, the phone. Yes, that's right. I did just unlock it to show you that. Yep, top 6% of my age group. I don't really know who all they count as part of my age group and who's opted into this anonymous fitness tracking thing, but uh, I want to tell you a little bit about this guy. Um, Short story is, I really wanted to hate it. I really wanted to hate it. I was ready to just tear it apart and throw it under the bus because I've never seen, I've never seen much use for uh, wearables. Um, I have a smartphone with a pedometer. Uh, you know, I can exercise myself and see how far I went in a day. I don't, I actually, I don't feel a need for it. Um, I still feel that way. I'll be honest. I still feel that way. However, and I have never tried another like Fitbit or fitness tracker oriented smartwatch. I've tried a lot of Android Wear smartwatches. I've tried the Apple Watch um, and I was expecting the same kind of like terrible battery life trade-off for screen, stupid apps that do nothing, buggy, blah blah blah. And I was ple presently surprised with a number of things. First thing is it's comfortable for me to wear. I have a larger wrist but it feels really nice on me. The app, it looks beautiful. The screen is beautiful and plenty bright. You can um, customize the watch faces for, to what you want. I don't really care. All of them cost money on the store. This is the one I want. It shows me the steps, the calories, and the floors, oddly. If I could make this a watch face, I would. This is the one that I actually kind of got addicted to, so it would show me the steps that I that I walked every day and uh, an approximate calories burned versus other people. I always wanted me to get better and play Pokemon Go. Playing Pokemon Go is a great way to get this up, um, which is this, this watch's worst feature, is that it does not ring when I have Pokemon. Come on, guys. Get on that. Um, you know, it'll show me... Uh, a, a bunch of various views, like, okay, how many steps per week did I do this week? No, uh, just myself, not compared to others. Um, and I've arranged all these screens. You can rearrange them by holding down and then by selecting. And it's pretty intuitive, I have to say, for a smartwatch, or for, I'm sorry, for a fitness tracker type of thing. How many floors? It, you know, it can measure my heart rate. I'm sure it won't do a good job here if I sit still. It can read my measure my blood glucose uh, levels and all that. There we go. Well, it's doing that. Um, this is the Gear app. So this works on all Android phones, not just Samsungs. Uh, and there's really no Samsung special reason that it would only work on Samsungs. In fact, if you have a Samsung, you probably don't need this because um, you have a, a heart rate tracker, you have a, glu a, a, a blood level, sugar level uh, monitor as well. Yeah, okay, fine, a little bit too much. Uh, you have all these things. You even have S Health, right? Which this makes you download it if you want to use it um, and track other things in health, S Health and do more advanced functionality. Um, uh, so if you have a, a Samsung phone, you, you actually don't need this. This feeds that data into the app that you already have. The thing that's interesting is that it gives you, I don't know, an always on companion to check. You can record different things like the water you take, the caffeine you take. Um, there's all sorts of crazy stuff. I'm exercising, okay. There are weird exercise programs that you can get into. But to control the phone, basically, as you can see, you, you swipe and you tap. This is the home button, it takes you home from somewhere else. And if I'm already at home, it'll show me a list of my apps, settings I can change. I'm not gonna go into detail, because there's a lot of stuff. You can connect Spotify. This has four gigabytes of onboard storage. So if you use a Bluetooth headset, you can connect to Spotify and leave your phone at home. Uh, I don't care about that. Um, uh, but some people might. Um, and it, these are the notifications from your phone. So it'll serve you up notifications and buzz. It can serve you up notifications from just about any app. Um, oh, what else? Did I, oh, so just like Android, um, if you if you swipe down, you can see recent notifications and you can do things like adjust the brightness on the phone. The screen is really bright. It's awesome. That's a daylight mode, um, but it's already plenty bright enough, really. Um, the thing I want to talk about that really sold me on this, that I like it, eh, it sold me on it because it's free. <laughs> I wouldn't buy it. I still wouldn't buy it is that the battery life lasts forever. Um, it, it lasts forever. It's, it's, so it's, I'm at 95%, it's been on me since 7 a.m. Your mileage may vary. Some features seem to drain battery a lot faster than others. Like when I turned on the always on display, which it does have, um, it drained very fast. And uh, you know, I, I, this, this also has Wi-Fi, so it can connect remotely to your uh, phone, even if you're in a different spot. And it knows all the Wi-Fi hotspots your phone has and learns them. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so, you know, I'm trying to get the screen to go off now. It seems to want to stay on. So the screen times off pretty quickly. Naturally, you can adjust that. Hello? 
<laughs> uh, or so I thought. Turn off screen. Um, 15 seconds it should be, but it seems to go like faster, like three seconds. Maybe depending on my gesture. So if I go like this, yeah, it looks like it turned it off. Now, one gesture that I don't like is that it doesn't work as well as it should, frankly. <laughs> now, of course, in this, it's it's made for demoing, I feel like, not real life. Like, if I actually want to look at my time randomly and I'm going somewhere, I'm like, come on, turn on, turn on, buddy. And uh, that's why I would have the always on screen, but it kills my battery life. So uh, hopefully there's a fix for that in the future so that the always on screen, uh, which is very basic, just displays some, some digits on the clock, um, is not so battery draining. Um, but what would I say, uh, given all this? Look, if you get in as a as a pack in, I'd say absolutely. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna wear it a little longer and see. There's something about it. It's it's totally duplicative. I do not need it. Um, but there's something about having it on you and it reminding you and the competition on here. Just being here in a different spot than my phone, where I never check S Health, which is has become a good app by the way. People like to hate on S Health, but it's become a very full featured app. So it's certainly a lot better than Health Kit that Apple has. That's no joke. Like Apple's just falling down all over the place on this stuff. Um, and yeah, four hour battery life from the Apple Watch. No, this is three days and I still get all the notifications. I can even do quick replies. I really don't, I feel like it's an artificial distinction between like fitness tracker and smartwatch, except that the use case is the only one in which I would ever consider using a wearable uh, like this. Now, once heads up displays become better and I can get additional data in my everyday life, that could be cool. But my uh, recommendation is don't buy this thing. I think it's 179 in a lot of places, maybe 149. But if you are going to buy a fitness tracker, this is probably the best one available right now. Keep in mind, you have to have an Android phone for any of the functionality to work from the phone side of things. Um, so if you're an iPhone, don't buy this if you're an iPhone user. Um, and certainly, if you get this as a pack-in, you could consider keeping it because I'm sure it won't have that amazing of a trade-in value. Um, but this is, yeah, this is a lot better than expected and I've read reviews uh, did some research that say that the Gear Fit One was not as good, and this solved basically all those problems. It has everything I want, and the stuff that I don't want, like when I got my first Samsung Gear a long time ago, like a camera and all sorts of crazy stuff, like a gyroscope and the ability to play Flappy Bird on my phone. I don't need any of that. This is much better, much more intuitive, and actually much more reliable. I mean, it doesn't, it's not very buggy at all. It just does what it does. So if you're in the market for a fitness tracker and you have an Android phone, good option. Don't buy it uh, outright. If you're not, if you're on the fence about fitness trackers or smartwatches, uh, especially, um, and uh, there you go. So, uh, tell me what you think in the comments. I want to know what if somebody wants to win this, they want me to raffle it off, how they want me to do that, and I'll do that. Oh.